Big Z Reviews. Barbie is the newest film from director and writer Greta Gerwig, and it's surprisingly like the biggest film of the year, and uh, one of the biggest films ever. And it's that's that's an impressive feat. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever. And so is yesterday, and so is tomorrow, and every day from now until forever. Yes. Do you guys ever think about dying? When my heart and my heels are on the ground. <gasps> Black feet! So this was actually the last movie I saw in my main theater. Like, um, I've been going to this one theater for almost uh, 20 years. And it was, the, um, it was originally like the Great Escape for the, at the Lycoming Mall. And then um, the Lycoming Mall is essentially dead now. And they, um, they kind of, like, I don't know, someone else bought it. I think they're going to turn it into housing or something. You're trying to make apartments in it. But, like, there's still some stores. Well, almost all the stores are gone. But they have, like, other stuff around it. So it's still there. But I, I don't know if that was part of it. But I think Regal, they, when they bought the, the chain before, then now they close, like, about, like, 30 theaters across the country. And this was one of them. And, it, like, I, it was funny, they, the people they, like, they wrote, like, on the board, that they wrote that it started with Mean Girls, and it ends with Barbie. And it's kind of like a fitting bookend to the, the history of the theater. And, like, I, I've probably seen almost a thousand movies here. You know, I go and probably see at least a movie a week, you know, for, for a long time. And, but, you know, it was kind of sad, but it was, it was... It was, I'm, I'm, I was glad I was able to see, um, you know, Barbie here before. Like, it, it was Thursday, and it closed on a Friday. You think it would be so stupid to close before the biggest movie of the year came out. But that's what they decided to do. But they had, like, the Thursday showing, and they still had Barbie. That was, like, the last, the last day for the theater. And, you know, it, it wasn't my favorite movie I've seen recently. But, you know, Margot Robbie is great as Barbie, and Ryan Gosling is great as Ken. And it's interesting, you know, have them going into the world and being like a fish out of fish out of water. And I think that I would have loved to see more of them exploring the real world. You know, at a certain point, like a, 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 they have to go back to the Barbie land and stuff messed up because Ryan Gosling like decides that men should be in charge after witnessing the real world and shenanigans per, uh, occur. And it's also the whole thing with with the Mattel. The, the big wigs in Mattel are trying to put Barbie back in the box. And the, the, whole, that stuff, the whole stuff with Mattel is some of the weakest stuff. But like the, like some of the stuff with, with you know, with, whenever Margot Robbie's on screen, it's great. And, you know, there's some really interesting stuff. It's just that, like, like I needed more of a story to grab a hold of, you know? Like, I, I, if, she, if she was, like, more trying to live in the real world, I think I could grab a hold of it more. But like she's like she goes back and like everything's messed up, and I think that stuff is interesting. But I think the stuff in the middle, like there's a lot of like of the scenes of them going back and forth between Barbie Land and the real world, like they that they have to do certain things to go to go there, and it's just like I didn't need all that. I feel like, but you know, it is some it's really interesting things here, and it's fun, and you know, and Margot Robbie's amazing. And like, and Ryan Gosling is crazy as Ken, you know. And there's there's some fun stuff with like the all the Kens going after each other, and but it's just I, I needed something more to grab a hold of. I think for a lot of the film, like I didn't, I think like, I don't know if I'll come back to it and watch it again much. You know, I watched it once and I'm kind of good with it. But I mean, it is a, it is a fun film. I can see why so many people love it. But it wasn't like the my my like perfect for me. Like wasn't my favorite movie. You know, but I probably give like a seven point seven five out of ten. But thanks for watching. If you want to see more, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.